welcome my dear students to standard 10 class science and technology part 2 we continue with introduction to microbiology substances obtained by microbial processing and their roles citric acid malic acid and lactic acid imparts acidity to the medium glutamic acid lysine tryptophan helps in protein binding niacin and natamycin helps in the microbial restriction that means it restricts the growth of harmful microorganisms ascorbic acid that is vitamin c b12 b2 acts as antioxidants vitamins beta carotene lycopenes xanthines lutein are edible colors polysaccharides glycolipids act as emulsifiers that is to keep the product moist for example cake vanillin ethyl butyrate fruit flavor peppermint flavor essence of various fruits and flowers acts as essence xylitol apertum acts as artificial sweeteners that is of low calorie what do you mean by antibiotic carbon compounds obtained from some bacteria and fungi which are able to destroy or prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms are called as antibiotics which precautions should be taken about their consumption it is dangerous to take antibiotics at our own will they should be taken only when a doctor prescribes to take those one should not purchase any antibiotic from medical stores without a prescription from a doctor one should not use antibiotics according to own will to treat common diseases like a throat infection common cold or influenza the dosage of the antibiotics as told by the doctor should be completed and should not be half way even if one feels well even if we find antibiotic very effective we should not suggest antibiotics to other people antibiotics whose expiry date is over should never be used antibiotics many diseases of human and other animals have been controlled due to antibiotics obtained from different types of bacteria and fungi antibiotics like penicillin cephalosporins monobactam bacitracin erythromycin gentamicin neomycin streptomycin tetracyclines vancomycin etc are used against various strains of gram positive and gram negative bacteria rifamycin is effective against tuberculosis microbes and fuels methane is obtained from microbes present in the agricultural and industrial waste by microbial anaerobic decomposition that means in the absence of oxygen this reduces the problem of solid waste management fermentation of molasses by yeast saccharomyces produces ethanol which is a clean and smokeless fuel the fuel of future is hydrogen gas it is released when bacteria perform biophotolysis of water bacteria perform the process photoreduction to release hydrogen some industrial chemicals are produced through microbial process for example some raw materials that are needed for the industrial processes such as various alcohols acetone organic acids fatty acids polysaccharides for plastic and food products some of these materials are used 
look at the diagram over there my dear children biofuel production we will study the biomass is the crop that means the crops are being grown with the help of solar energy plus carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and when the crops are ready they are being harvested threshed and cellulose is being extracted from it for example sugar and the leftover which are the molasses are being treated by the microorganisms and biofuel is obtained from it and the biofuel which is obtained from it is used to run the vehicles shown over there and the carbon dioxide which is rele released as a result of burning of the fuel is again transferred to the atmosphere this cycle goes on and this is how the biofuel is produced biofuel is an important is important among the renewable source of good energy these fuels are available in solid that is coal dung crop residue liquid vegetable oils alcohol gaseous gobar gas coal gas forms these fuels are easily available and in plenty of quantity these are reliable of the future microbial pollution control solid waste sewage and various pollutants are ever increasing with increase in pollution along with it ever increasing diseases and degradation of environment are worldwide problems especially cities in densely populated countries like india are affected with these problems life of the future generations will be difficult if these problems are not solved at right and to right extent let us study the roles of microorganisms in the environment you already know that microorganisms or microbes are used for disposal of solid waste through biogas plant and compost production land filling sites look at the diagram over there my dear children degradable waste being accumulated in urban areas is used for this purpose large pits are being dug in open spaces far away from the residential area and those pits are lined with plastic sheets as a precautionary measure against pollution of soil due to leaching of toxic substances and harmful substances through the waste compressed waste is dumped in the pit it is covered with layers of soil sawdust leafy waste and specific biochemicals bioreactors are mixed at some places microbes present in the soil and other top layers decompose the waste completely filled pit is sealed sealed with soil slurry best quality compost is formed after few days such land filling sites can be reused after removal of the compost the methane gas you can see over there is extracted from top sewage management in villages domestic sewage is disposed of either in nearby soil or in biogas plant however in cities sewage needs to be carried to processing unit and acted upon by microbial processes microbes which can decompose any compound as well as destroy the pathogens that means harmful microorganisms of cholera typhoid etc are mixed with the sewage they release methane and carbon dioxide gases by decomposition of the carbon compounds present in the sewage phenol oxidizing bacteria decompose the xenobiotic chemicals present in the sewage the sludge that settles down in this process can again be reused as fertilizer water released after microbial treatment is environmentally safe 
microbes are used for bio remediation of environment polluted due to sewage clean technology human being has made a very fast progress in technology however environmental pollution is also increasing with same speed let us see the ways of control over air soil and water pollution with the help of microbes microbes have natural ability of decomposing the man made chemicals hydrocarbons and other chemicals are transferred with the help of these abilities some microbes remove the sulfur from the fuels metals like copper iron uranium zinc etc leach into the environment from low quality metalloids these are converted into compounds before leaching with the help of thiobacilli and sulfobacilli you must have seen or read the news of dead fishes or oily water accumulating at the sea coast why does this happen spilling of petroleum oil occurs in ocean due to various reasons this oil may prove fatal that means dangerous and toxic to aquatic organisms it is not easy to remove the oil layer from the surface of water by mechanical method however bacteria like pseudomonas and echinovorax have the ability to destroy the pyridines and other chemicals hence these bacteria are used to clear the oil spills these are called as hydrocarbonoclastic bacteria hydrocarbonoclastic bacteria decompose the hydrocarbons and bring about the reaction of carbon with oxygen carbon dioxide and water is formed in this process plastic bottles are formed from the chemical substance pet that is polyethylene terephthalate polyester nowadays most of the urban garbage consists of plastic it has been observed that the species vibrio idionella etc can decompose the pet that is polyethylene terephthalate polyester similarly species like fungi streptomyces etc have the ability of decomposing rubber from the garbage sulfuric acid is present in the acid rain and materials coming from the mines acid rain is the combination of sulfur dioxide and rain water you know that erosion of metals present in the statues bridges and buildings occur due to this acid rain sulfuric acid is a source of energy for some species of bacteria like acidophilum and acidobacillus hence these bacteria can control the soil pollution occurring due to acid rain water soluble salts of uranium are present in the waste produced during the electroplating and in effluent released in environment from the atomic plant geobacter converts these salts of uranium into insoluble salts and thereby prevent those salts from mixing into the ground water sources thus preventing pollution microbial inoculants some microbes containing inoculants are produced by the process of fermentation these inoculants are sprayed on the seeds before sowing and some of the inoculants are released into the plants microbes in the inoculants help in plant growth by supplying nutrients they improve the quality of vegetarian food solution containing acetobacter species and artificial nitrogenase is used in organic farming soil pollution occurring due to chemical fertilizers is prevented due to these solutions fluoroacetamide like chemicals are mixed with the soil 
due to use of chemical pesticides in agriculture these prove to be harmful to other plants and animals as well as cause skin diseases to human these pesticides in the soil can be destroyed with the help of microbes plastic being used for storing the garbage is biodegradable polylactic acid such material should be used as per need only an environment should be saved bio insecticides bacterial and fungal toxins which can destroy pests and pathogens that is disease producing microorganisms can be directly integrated into plants with the help of biotechnology being toxic to insects they do not consume the plants similar to bacteria some species of fungi and viruses are useful as pesticides spinosad a bio product of fermentation is a bio pesticide thank you my dear children